Tiamo Shelton, running back for the Oak Hill Red Devils with me now. Uh, Tiamo, first of all, last season, um, you, I would think that your breakout game probably was the Wyoming East game. I've been, oh, yeah, for sure. I, I was at that game. I guess that's why I'm asking more questions sure. about it. But talk about what happened in that game. I mean, they were coming off a big win over Nicholas. You guys took them right down to the wire. Talk oh, yeah, about that, was, that, that game and your breakout game specifically. That was a very good game, especially for me and with the teammates. That game... Nobody believed the outcome of that game because the odds were stacked against us. They had them like 80% us, 20% winning that game. So the odds were stacked heavily against us. So I'm very proud of how we played. Wish it could have came a different come out, but we did good. And I believe we shocked a lot of people. Why did uh, you, I mean, I think you had over 200 yards in that game, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, what, what was going right for you? It, it, they had have, they have, they have a pretty good defense. They used, a lot of times they outscored people, yes, but they still had a lot of seniors on that defense. Oh, yeah. What I was going right for you? I believe it was mainly my mentality, just wanting it, and plus everybody was bashing us, saying, like, we're going to lose, they're better than us. I just wanted to prove everybody wrong and just kept that in my mind, and I just wanted to beat the odds. What, uh, what would be some uh, doable goals for you this season? I would like to reach a thousand yard goal for my coach Martin. He been on me for that since I was a freshman, telling me when I get in there for that, and just help my team go to the playoffs. So Coach Martin's kind of challenging you then to get a thousand yards. Coach Martin been challenging me my entire life, but he's very I'm, good. At, he's good at doing that, isn't he? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna live up to it. What are your goals for this team? What do you think this team can uh, legitimately do? You got a new coach uh, coming in here today, Money Penny. I'll ask you about him in a minute, but what do you think are some legitimate goals for this squad? I think our goals is to win more games, play better, have more fun out there, and just show everybody what the Oak Hill Red Devils is about. You'll have a new line. You'll be running behind. Uh, you lost, I guess, two linemen off that line. What are your thoughts on the line right now, where they stand? We're looking a little shaky now, but I believe with the more work and we's coming and each day we are getting better and better and I believe our line will do good and they should have no problem protecting how, me. <laughs> how is the wing T? How do you, how do you how are you adapting to that wing T? How do you think that will help you specifically? I believe it will. It was a little confusing for me at first, like changing from what I was doing last year to the wing T, but now I'm getting into it. I like how the line are shifting. And it's starting to feel better. I'm starting to love it a lot. Money Penny says it's the best play. It's the wing tee is the best formation because it's his formation. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do, are you having a lot of fun with Coach Money Penny out oh, here yeah. and, these, and these experienced guys? He's a very great coach. You got uh, two guys, Frank Spangler, and you mentioned Jim Martin already. That uh, probably two legends. Two, okay, <laughs> very good. That's what I was going to ask you. How, how is it uh, playing for those guys? Because you can go oh my back talk, talk to old heads like myself. And, yeah, we remember those guys coaching. Oh, yeah. It's like having two guys like that who have, like, coached state champions and just having them two around and, like, being with us every day is just amazing. They're giving us good tips, helping us every day, and they're just there to comfort us and just help us through. I love having them there. Tiamo, how important is that first game up the west side? Uh, for you guys this year, yeah, just to get off on the right foot. I feel like it's very important, but I feel like we're gonna go to West Side and get the job done. Uh, you, uh, you told me off the off the camera here that you're you found out you are related to Tracy Shelton, the uh, Oak Hill legend. What do you uh, basketball legend? What do you know about Tracy? And uh, well, I don't really know. From being honest, I don't know that much. But from I heard, he was like one of the best basketball players that ever stepped foot in Oak Hill High School. And I was like, wow, once I seen the picture, when I first came to high school, I seen the picture. My dad was explaining to me, like, how that's my uncle's son, and I'm related to him. And I thought that was pretty cool having a legend cousin that went to my school, and now I'm trying to. Having like seen him. him play, I would say he's definitely, if he's not number one, he's number two, I would think. And Oak Hill's got a pretty good basketball history, oh, yeah. as you know. There. Are you looking forward to the season? Are you hoping that you're going to be able to get it in? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, you'll be able to play all ten? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm more healthy, been a doctors, I'm good, clear for everything. I'm ready for this season. Was that a problem last year, injuries for you? Yeah, at, I later had a, in the season. Yeah, I had a knee injury, a knee injury and an ankle injury that put me out the shady game that I really wish I could have played. I think was that our last time playing shady. I believe that was our last time playing them, and that's always been a little rival game. So <laughs> I'm mad that, that put me out, but uh, I'm cleared up. Went to the doctors, got everything figured out. And I should be healthy the whole season to play ten, all 10 games. Okay, Tiama, I appreciate the time. Good Thank luck you. this season. Thank you.